From the Industrial Revolution to the dawn of the Information Age, innovation has been the key factor in our ability to do more and do better. Now, as 5G enters the picture, industries will again look to profit from a new game-changing technology. Leaders must have a clear view of where this 5G technology is going, and more importantly, find a knowledgeable partner to guide them as they forge their own paths into the next era. T-Mobile's history is shaped by innovation. They've set and exceeded ambitious goals, overcoming daunting business challenges, and planned for a bold future, all while compelling their entire industry to reform. Each step in this journey has led T-Mobile to emerge as the leader in 5G coverage and speeds. But how did they get to this point, and what makes their story so different? Let's find out. This leadership position that T-Mobile is in um, it's critical. This coverage and capability that we have is so important for businesses, and we're highly engaged with businesses in this 5G space today. Many companies are looking to leverage 5G on private networks in their own environments, their campuses, their factories, and we're in deep partnership and rollout and deployment uh, with companies to start delivering on that 5G promise now. If you think about how many businesses depend on connectivity for their workforces. That's an area where T-Mobile is just killing it today. If you have a mobile workforce in any manner or form that requires connectivity and 5G connectivity, then T-Mobile is effectively your choice. That foundational 5G layer that we built that's not there with our competition. You know, for many years, T-Mobile has been punching way above our weight class. In those periods when we were the underdog, we focused on a few things that matters to the customer. We call it the uncarrier. What is the pain point that we're trying to solve for our customers? And, and that drives the company. That drives how we view innovation. We can bring solutions and services to our customers that they appreciate, that makes their lives better. It's very exciting for me personally. I've been part of 5G now for 10 years. I was actually part of the very first meeting where a few CTOs of the industry got together to discuss the next generation, what should that really be about? And it was a back of the napkin. If you ever heard the napkin story, it's true. We sat, we drafted on a napkin. We said, it's gotta be beyond the smartphone. It's gotta be where everything can, that can benefit from a connection can have one. We realized already that the Internet of Things were starting to merge as a thought, and we said, let's, let's make 5G relevant to a world where everything is connected. You know, 5G is basically giving you Wi-Fi-like speeds and unprecedented latency, low latency, and the ability to take your computing applications and all of your devices that are connected to the cloud anywhere you go. 5G is the first G that we have developed that is designed from the ground up for the enterprise business. To be a real 5G operator, you need to have different types of spectrum for different needs. Low band spectrum for coverage, mid band spectrum for capacity, and millimeter wave spectrum where you really need the high density coverage in a hot zone or a hot spot. The, the term we used, I love to use the term a layer cake because it looks like one of those fabulous wedding cakes, right? That kind of does this as you, you know, you, you roll up into these spectrum bands. And our competition looked at that. Many of the companies around the world did not look at a strategy like that because they had different spectrum assets available to them. So guess what they did for 5G? They have access to a new type of spectrum called millimeter wave that is not cellular, much higher in bandwidth, and said, hey, we're gonna use those for 5G. Now there's a place in 5G for millimeter wave. They're great for capacity at short distances. But their range is not gonna propagate much further than your garage door opener. If you use that to build a nationwide network, it's going to fail. Our competition, they kind of started at the top. They didn't build the foundation. We focused at the outset on building out 5G coverage, a breadth of 5G, which is super important for all consumers, business users, you name it. You need the coverage to really utilize the service. 
and T-Mobile was the first to cover the entire United States with 5G. So you've got to have the, the layer cake approach that we've talked about in terms of low band, mid band, and high band so that any application can run at any speed. Validation time is when our competitors decided to spend $80 billion buying mid band spectrum that they did not have just to keep up with us. We're about two years out in front of our competition in the US. And so if you want to invest and buy into the future of connectivity and communications and this 5G world, there's one company to do that with today that has a material leadership advantage, both in coverage and performance on a 5G network, and that's T-Mobile. We were the first in the world to roll, to roll out a standalone core, and that allows us to start exposing the true potential of 5G to our business customers. We were the first to roll out multi-antenna technology. Why is that important? It allows us to drive a lot more capacity and spectral efficiency for our customers. We were the first to roll out narrowband IoT network. Why is that important? It allows our customers to deploy low power sensors by the millions in the country that our network can support. Today, we run the largest FDD 5G network in the world at T-Mobile. And if you look at the maps, it's super compelling as to how far and wide the reach is of T-Mobile's network compared to our competition. Here and now today, we are being recognized by third parties out there. Ookla and Open Signal and other very trusted sources are already today saying that we have the very best performing network. And this competition is really Verizon and AT&T, so we are the clear, recognized leader in 5G by third parties today. And if you look at availability metrics or coverage metrics, whichever way you look at it, that foundational bill for T-Mobile, that 5G foundation, that has provided a material differential experience for our customers. In 5G, size matters. The fact that we have the biggest 5G network really matters because it levels the playing field for all the businesses out there. Traditionally, strong wireless networks are built in the metro areas where most of the customers are. But we know that enterprises have factories in rural areas, have farms in rural areas. With 5G, we can reach these farms. It's really about extending that, that, that whole innovation cycle out to rural America where you can create a business and run a business and operate it from not just one rural site, but multiple rural sites, all stitched together by this uh, amazing 5G network that we've built. And then you start to come in from rural to suburban to deep urban environments, and T-Mobile's the company, regardless of where your needs sit or live, T-Mobile has the assets, the deployment, the speeds, the leadership, the performance, so we can meet your 5G needs. So for us, I mean, the size and scale of this network, we are a perfect match for business users of every type and, and category. If you're with T-Mobile today, you have this 5G coverage and capability that we can really benefit and, and utilize to drive greater connectivity needs for businesses. We are, in the next five years, going to invest more than $40 billion in our network to make sure that we stay in the lead, but also providing our customers with completely new capabilities and opportunities. I predict that 5G will be part of mission-critical infrastructure of society. And when that is happening, we're into something a lot bigger than just providing smartphones in stores. It's transforming businesses out there as they are seeking new opportunities using digitalization and the internet and the cloud all coming together on the 5G platform. We realize that we have to build something bigger than ourselves. And innovation happens everywhere. We have brought in more than 139 startups and innovators and partners to work with us. So where T-Mobile has really partnered with businesses is listening. CIOs have told us, you know, we've got a budget, we've got current solutions on 4G, we think our business could be better with 5G, but we need some help getting there. And so we've created an ecosystem and a value prop where we're willing to sit down with companies, uh, share with them some thought starter solutions that we've seen people in their verticals uh, use 5G for. We have set up innovation labs, we're partnering with large numbers of developers and startups to start fueling you know, that wave of 5G innovation that's coming to the US. 
We realize that it's difficult for startups to interface with big companies. And the 5G Open Innovation Lab gives them a really easy access to some of our best experts and labs so that they can test out the concepts by leveraging the assets that we bring to the table. This is how we get to meet the, the smartest and brightest people, not just in the US, but globally as well. 5G can not only help transform existing businesses, it can help innovators create new ones. We work with a startup called Tactile that gives you augmented reality when you wear a headwear like a HoloLens. Basically, when you have augmented reality, you get expert help from anywhere in the world to, to, to help see what you're, you're doing to help you with troubleshooting. If you're a, a beginning electrician and you go out to a site and you open up a fuse panel, um, the ability to have an expert, maybe a, uh, a master electrician somewhere else connected that can, can bring up the, uh, the right configuration of the wiring or the networking is supposed to be to help the, uh, the beginning electrician or the beginning network person to figure that out. So there really is no limit to this. One of the most interesting startups we work with is a company called Halo that is trying to disrupt the autonomous uh, driving space. You have a remote pilot, not in the car, but remotely, driven over 5G. And their business idea was, hey, you can summon one of these cars using an app, just like an Uber app. I love this use case because this is something that the competitors will never dare to try. Because their 5G network will ping pong between LTE and 5G. It's fine with a smartphone, you'll still see a 5G icon, but you will drive the car into the ditch if your network ping pongs between 4G and 5G. That's what really makes 5G unique. It's not just for your tablet and your phone. It's, it's really any piece of technology that needs to communicate with the cloud to make decisions and then to inform the next action. All of that is powered by 5G, cloud compute, private network, all the services that T-Mobile has been working with a, a variety of clients in different industries, uh, and we're just getting started. If we just take a look back at 4G or LTE, Look at what LTE has enabled. Look at all the new businesses that has sprung up because of LTE. Uber is one good example. Other businesses like Instagram, Snapchat, all came because they were leveraging LTE in a nationwide network. Now think about what 5G can do, which is a much more powerful tool that we're putting in the hands of these innovators. I just cannot wait to see who the next Uber is going to be in healthcare. Who is going to be the Uber that's going to disrupt agriculture? Who is going to be the Uber that's going to disrupt gas and utilities? It's an exciting future when we put 5G in the hands of the creators, the innovators, the business folks to fix not just and transform their business today, but to build new ones. It's so much more coming with 5G where the purpose for us at T-Mobile is to offer our network as a platform for innovation for others to realize their opportunities and experiences based on the digitalization that they're going through and based on their business objectives that they want to use with the latest connectivity technology. We're just barely scratching the surface with 5G. 5G will lead to massive innovations in many fields, including yours. You'll need it to maintain a competitive position in the new era of work and to build your future. T-Mobile and its powerful nationwide 5G network are ready right now. Together, let's take your business further.